You want some height? You're 185 centimeters? You can send me your legs for free. I actually don't need to be taller. I like my height, which is pretty average. Average good. That means... No, you know what? Actually, yeah. Send me your legs. I'm not tall. I'm just short enough that every single table in the world is too tall for me. So I have a, a standing desk that I never stand with, but I can crack it all the way down to fit my legs. I hate my sh- I have short legs. Okay, so my partner who's about six foot, okay? When we sit down, we're the same freaking height, exactly. But when I step- when we stand up, I'm like a head shorter. My legs are so short and my torso is so long. You guys don't know, but my actual IRL proportions- I'm gonna draw the glasses too and the hair- okay, okay. They're like this. My legs are the shortest. So here is, um, me and my partner. We're sitting down, we're having a good time. Here's me with my glasses, okay. We're sitting together on the train, and it's fantastic because we're the same height. I'm, like, I'm so happy. We can hold hands and stuff, and it's very cute. Okay? We're sitting down on the train, okay? This is sit we're seated. Then we stand up, and he's like, whoop. And then I teleport down here, which is the saddest thing. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the I hate it so much. <laughs> You know, you know, they say some girls have legs for days. I have legs for maybe about 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, guys, that just made, that just reminded me of something. So, uh, once uh, I was visiting Canada because my cousin was getting married and she had a bunch of little teeny little nephews, okay? They were really into Pokemon. So I want to, I want you to play a game because they asked me to play a game. They asked, hey, can you guess my favorite Pokemon? I'll give you some hints, I said. And I was pretty confident in my Pokemon knowledge. <laughs> And I said, sure. And they started with, okay, my favorite Pokemon is blue. Which doesn't narrow things down, but I suppose it's a start. And also that he is, uh, he is a god, he said. And he, his type is, uh, I think he said he w it was darkness type. He didn't say dark, he said darkness. So a blue god that is darkness type, what is that? <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't get it. I also think there is no chance that anybody here will get it. There's no chance. Mudkip? Nope. His own fake mud? No. Primal Diaga? No. Azuril is not a god. I think Azuril is very cute, but I wouldn't I wouldn't call Azuril a god. Our Arsene from Persona 5. The closest answer yet, actually. Dark Lugia is a good guess. God? The only god is Ar Arceus? Well, that's, not my, that's his words, not mine. I would agree with you. <laughs> His type is Ebony, Darkness, Dementia, Raven, Way, Dark, Red, Giratina, Luna. Okay, you guys are never gonna guess it, so I'll tell you the answer, okay? Get ready. The answer is... Obelisk the Tormentor. The Pokémon card. <laughs> I did not get this. <laughs> it, it, it is a Pokémon card, so uh, he had no way of knowing that Obelisk the Tormentor doesn't exactly qualify as a Pokemon. <laughs> he had no idea. He had no idea. He was too young to be debating me, I promise you. <laughs> but I didn't even know that, that, that like, there were some special edition Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon cards, so you learn something every day, yeah? I told you guys we weren't gonna get it, there was no way. <laughs> the darkness type god that is blue. He described it pretty perfectly, if you ask me. Is that legal? I have no idea. In fact, I'll find out right now. Is Obelisk the Tormentor Pokemon legal? He isn't dark. I don't know if he's darkest or not, but like uh, an eight-year-old child thought he was uh, thought he was uh, darkness type. It's a collectible card. No, I don't think it's legal. He is divine. He's a dark. He's divine. I don't. Well, he looks kind of evil in the card art, and how else would a child know he's divine? I mean, if your divine types look kind of darkness type, then isn't that a problem with the character design? You should blame the character design, not the child. You're not a box believer. I can try to make you one. Teach you the ways of the box. All right, here we go. We get to talk. Go go on our box spiel once again. So, when we think about boxes, they're pretty boring. It's you're thinking, well, it's... If you ask someone to draw a box, they're like, well, that's stupid. Of course I can draw a box. Right? It's like this. There's your box. But actually, this is bad. 
this is not a good box because the thing about boxes is that every all these lines should be converging to a point every one of these planes this one as well uh yeah like that and also these ones so this is clearly a wrong box the correct box would look something more like this i think there you go this is more this is this is this is a box i mean i'm not perfect at boxes and then you're wondering okay so why do i want to draw all these boxes that's kind of i don't want to draw boxes i want to draw cute anime girls i want to draw hot anime men what do boxes have to do with all this nonsense this is stupid wait and see okay but let's say you separate this box up okay you separate it out draw the back sign you separate the box out okay so now you kind of draw a line here and now you have a little rectangle you can kind of see this little rectangle yeah and now that we have a rectangle, we can take this face, draw a circle inside it, and we can do a cylinder. And at this point, you're thinking, well, oh, it's a cylinder, who cares? I'm not here to draw cylinders. I'm here to draw people. But wait, what if I told you you could use these cylinders? Okay, here's a box for the head. It's not a very good box, I'm drawing very quickly. A box? for the torso and look cylinders for the arms if you can draw cir circles boxes and cylinders you can literally draw any pose from any angle anything you can imagine you don't need reference anymore like i'm just noodling this super fast and i was never able to do this before but as soon as i started drawing boxes suddenly i found wow wait hang on a second as long as I turn everything to cylinders and boxes, I can draw any angle. That's actually insane. There you go. Boom. That's why you should draw boxes. If you draw boxes, you can suddenly do something like this. It's literally because of boxes. Hot girls are, yes, indeed, made of boxes. When you do boxes, let me go to my study account. And you, if you look at some of these, you see I draw cubes, and then I stack four cubes on top of each other. One, two, three, four, because I'm drawing an eight head tall character. I remember all of the landmarks, like, okay, this is one head, the rib cage is at about three and a half, the crotch is at about four, the bottom of the kneecaps is at six. I just pay attention to all those, draw the side view, and then I just I can just draw the human body from any angle because of the boxes. When you draw more and more boxes, you keep experimenting. You're like, oh, I'm not really sure how to do it. You turn, you do more practice, you turn your, uh, your pose drawings into boxes. And then one day, you just wake up, and you're just like, wait, I can just draw any angle. What the heck? And I was literally never able to do that. Literally ever. It was my first time. Suddenly I can draw entire scenes because of the boxes. It was like your third eye just suddenly opens. Like, like these aren't perfect. They're my first time doing it. They're literally my first time ever drawing an entire background. But I feel like they're not too bad because of boxes. Oh my god, they're insane. A box and two spears and you have a female torso? Exactly. You're like, oh, I don't want to draw anime men. Men, easy. Just draw two semicircles here. Now it's an anime girl. Very cute. Oh, I'm not good at drawing boobs, but you, you get the idea. Do I take commissions for those spears on boxes? Uh, yes? <laughs> oh yeah, I can do spears on boxes all day long. Check this out, are you ready? Oh my, how spicy. 